5.2 is uh, inverse functions. And f, you can think of the function f as going from the domain of f to the range of f. So this is a good way to think about functions here as we start inverses. An inverse function, what that does, the best way to think about it is it turns the arrow around. So this arrow turn it would go the other way from the range of f to the domain of f. And if I give this function a name, we're going to be using f inverse. Now it looks like to the negative first power, that is the way it's written. You want to be careful, this does not mean the reciprocal, which would be 1 over f. This is the inverse function. If you af ask f inverse, what is this set right here? f inverse will not say that's the range of f. f inverse will say, ah, that's my domain. So the range of f is the domain of f inverse. If you have, ask f inverse, what is this set? f inverse will tell you, ah, that's my range. So we see as a domain of f is the range of f inverse. The range of f is the domain of f inverse. They switch, they swap domains and ranges because the arrow is going the other direction. The definition of inverses, f and g, two functions are inverses exactly when they cancel each other, meaning f of g of x equals the identity, which is just x. So if f and g cancel each other out and you just get x, and if you put them in the other way, f goes first, g second, of x, if it cancels out to just be x, they are inverses. And the name, this type of function, if it has an inverse, not every function does, but if it has an inverse, we call it an invertible function.